Ulrika is an NPC whom you can romance in Dragon's Dogma 2, and we previously did Wilhelmina in another video. But I'm going over Ulrika in this one, and the cool thing about her is once you've romanced her, there is actually a way to have her follow you around and be a member of your team. As you can see in the video, she is out fighting with me, along with all of my pawns. So let's take a look then at how to romance Ulrika and have her follow you around. First, you're going to need to complete the Redvent Calamity questline. I have already gone over it in much more detail in another video, but essentially it goes like this. The quest begins in Melv, where you will have to repel a dragon attack. It's a cutscene that triggers eventually when you return to here when you've done a certain amount of story missions. You fight off the dragon and then Ulrika will talk to you and express her gratitude after driving the dragon away. Leave Melv and return there after a few days have passed and you can go speak with Ulrika at her house on the western side of the village beside the potion shop. She will invite you to stay for the night. Upon awakening you'll find that Ulrika has left Melv to avoid being apprehended. Tell me where she is hiding. I can only pray that she does not. Leonard will then ask you to look for Ulrika, and you can find her in Harvey Village, which is just to the west of Vernworth. And keep in mind, if it's your first time arriving here, you will have a couple of missions to complete in order to unlock the town, such as Scaly Invaders, so keep this in mind. But once you've done all of that and you arrive in town, you can speak with Ulrika in the middle and she will tell you that she's staying in the village for a while to investigate the dragon's whereabouts. At this point, you can return to Mel to report Lanert on Ulrika's location and that will end the Red Vint Calamity questline. So that is part one of how to romance her. Next, after a few days, you can return to Harvey Village and you can automatically trigger a cutscene that begins Trouble at the Cape. During this quest, you will assist Ulrika in rescuing a villager trapped in the Stormwind Cave, and there's not really much to explain on this one, just head into the cave and rescue the villager. Next, you need to maximize your affinity with Ulrika. Leave the town and wait a couple of days after doing the previous mission and then you can speak with Ulrika in the town and you can offer her gifts in order to raise your affinity with her. She will blush if it's done right and the best item to give her is flowers. You need to give her three sets of flowers to maximize her affinity and you can tell it's done as you will start to get the same voice line over and over again when you give her a gift. How wonderful. You're welcome to stay a while. It warms. I had every faith. Look at you. I had every faith. After this, you are free to do the final quest in the chain. The final quest to romance Ulrika is to complete Home is Where the Hearth is. Return to the now heavily guarded Melv and offer the guard a bribe of 5,000 gold to enter the village. Talk to Leonard at Ulrika's house and offer him four swords from your inventory to arm the villagers and help them fight off the guards. How are you faring? Have you been able to procure any weapons? You've reclaimed our weapons. Well done, sir. Uh cannot we must withdraw and regroup. After the fight, you can report back to Ulrika, who is located in the pier in Har Village. And if you've done the quest correctly, she will ask you to return to the pier at night, where you and her will share some time together. You've come. Glad I am to see you. Follow me, if you would. It is a strange thing. I ne'er knew how vast the sky was till I left Mel behind. Time and again you have come to my aid. 
Would that I could repay you in some way. Unless there is little I have to offer. Yet, if your heart e'er aches for a place to call home, then may this village. No, not the village. If e'er you're in need of a hearth to return to, then let it be mine. Now you and Ulrika are fully acquainted, to get her to follow you, you simply need to wait around for her to show up at your house, and she will have a companion quest to follow her back to Harve. But if you never return to Harve, she will continue to follow you forever as part of your team. If you're having problems with her not showing up at your house, but some other NPC does because multiple NPCs can show up there, then you can try killing the NPC and she will show up at your house instead. Now, if you accidentally finish the quest line, don't worry, she will keep showing up at your house in the future, at least she did for me. But, so long as you don't return to Merv, she will be part of your team and help you fight and follow you around. But guys, that is how to romance Ulrika in-game and have her as a companion as well. Like and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma 2 guides, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.